Hey guys, Ram Guruji here, and today I'm going to explain what is bootloader unlocking in the quickest manner possible, right? And uh, this is because there are a lot of people who have seen my video on bootloader unlocking but do not know what bootloader unlocking means. But before we do that, if you're new here, press that subscribe button and the bell icon for all the notifications. And let's get started. So, to explain to you what bootloader unlocking quickly means and how it helps you, right? Let's take the example of a computer. Everyone has used computer and computer has something known as, okay, let's load an operating system on it, right? So mobiles also have something similar, right? The base idea is same for both of these devices, right? Because they're smart devices, they have processors, RAM, etc. The basic idea remains the same. Now here the bootloader is something like a BIOS, right? Basically. Now what happens in a BIOS is if you're trying to install Linux or uh, some other OS, right, or the flavor of Linux, what you'll have to do is go into the BIOS and change some settings to actually allow you to boot into the Linux version and install it. So with Android, it's something similar. So the bootloader unlocking is basically a security feature. So once you unlock the bootloader, right, it allows you to change whatever you want in the system, right? Now, now that if you've reached it, right, you've reached the stage where you've unlocked the bootloader, how does it help you? After you've unlocked the bootloader, you can root your phone or change to a custom ROM, right? So those who don't know what a custom ROM is, a custom ROM is basically a themed Android version. So Android every year with a new version of itself releases a vanilla or a stock AOSP image, right? Now this image does not have Google's apps, right? Gaps or as they are called in the developer community. So you will not get Gmail, Google text, phones or something, but you will get all the basic things that are there supposed to be in an Android phone. So now this image is open source. So the source code for this image is actually put up online that developers can use to develop their own custom flavors of Android. And that is what a custom room is. It is a custom themed Android image, right? This is the same thing that your manufacturer also does for their own systems. Like MIUI skins the AOSP Android image to put in their own apps. IQ does the same, right? So now that you've got this, what are the benefits of doing so? Well, the benefits are a lot. You can switch to a speedier, cleaner, smoother interface, which a lot of people have been doing for a lot of years, right? So for example, I'm on IQ and I would love to switch to a custom room because it is more bugless and easier updates are there. And then there is the smoothness and a lot of features are there in custom rooms that for example if you look at the oxygen os if you don't know oxygen os actually was born inspired from a custom room called cyanogen mod which at that time was offering a lot of features so custom rooms are basically feature rich and allow you a larger control over your phone now the reason why some people do it is because they want better privacy. So a lot of people who are using Chinese phones put in custom rooms because the developers are Indian and they have a larger control over where the data goes, right? So these are the, some of the things that happen. Or if you have an older phone, so for example, I had my OnePlus 60 and OnePlus 60 is actually started receiving stable Android 11 rooms. Whereas OnePlus has not even released a beta Oxygen OS for OnePlus 60. So as you can see, the development is much faster and it's supported for a longer period of time. Some of the Nexus phones are still being supported. So these are the benefits, but what are the losses? Some companies, Xiaomi being the exceptions, also tell you that you might be voiding your warranty when you're unlocking the bootloader. But like in the case of Xiaomi, even if your phone's bootloader is unlocked, you do have the full warranty. A lot of people do not go to Xiaomi or reflash their phone with stock images because they think that the warranty will be voided. But in case of Xiaomi or Redmi, your warranty will not be voided for unlocking the bootloader. Now you might ask, okay, I unlocked my bootload, I put it in a custom room, I did not like it, I have to go back to stock, but I would like my warranty back. Can I flash the stock room and do away with the bootloader unlocking thing? Yes, you can. Bootloader can be locked again. Bootloader is automatically restored when you full flash your stock room. But and this is universal for every phone. Every time you lock your bootloader and lay again or unlock your bootloader. In some cases, in the case of unlocking, the data is not deleted, but mostly the data is deleted. And your phone may also be susceptible to being hacked. 
that is if you do not take the right precautions or if you are installing a custom room for a from a doubtful source right otherwise it's a plain and very easy process and when you do this process you come across a lot of recovery tools now this video was to basically simply explain the concept and to recap bootloader unlocking is basically unlocking the full control over your phone to flash change or modify your system custom rooms are basically a themed version of the stock aosp image that google releases every year and that is open source custom rooms give you faster updates better features and longer support but bootloader unlocking may also void your warranty and may also do a lot of things which if you are installing something from a doubtful source is very dangerous now guys this was the video for bootload unlocking if you did like the information if you would like me to do more uh, videos on such information do comment down below and show us some love like share and subscribe it would mean a lot to the channel thank you guys i'll see you in the next one bye